Welcome to the webpage of the Endoscopic Cardiac Surgeons Club. This club has been founded by enthusiasts of endoscopic cardiac surgery. I want to name Mattia Glauber from Italy, Jörg Kempfert from Germany, Antonio Spitzis from Greece, Joseph Zacharias from United Kingdom, Marco Salinas from uh, Italy, and myself, Patrick Perry from Germany. Our goals are threefold. First, we want to promote the uh, global awareness of the advantages of endoscopic approach. We want to increase a safe and wide adoption of those techniques. And we want to drive short terms and long terms result of this approach for the benefits of our patient. We want to help cardiac surgery to be more modern and to be a specialist where endoscopes are used more widely, more routinely, and more frequently. I think that it is time. In 1996, Alain Carpentier has showed us the way by performing the first video-assisted mitral valve repair. In Europe, Fred Moore and Hugo van Ehrman has then followed his work. One can say that the beginnings were difficult. Courage, perseverance have been needed. But along the way, the difficulties have been mastered, solutions have been found, tricks have been developed, and today, minimally invasive repair is a very safe and fulfilling technique. Like all new techniques, minimally invasive surgery has sparked resistances and has been uh, disregarded, rejected by the vast majority. But time, publication of scientific papers have demonstrated that minimally invasive cardiac surgery is safe, reproducible, and uh, the perception of it has been dramatically improved. You can see that I'm very vague when using the term minimally invasive surgery. It's because the definition itself of minimally invasive surgery is vague. It encompasses all cardiac operations which are not performed through medium sternotomy. In fact, minimally invasive uh, approach is done most of the time under direct vision, which has its drawbacks. First of all, the use of a retractor with associated uh, muscle, nerve, and bone trauma. It also has a limited visualization and uh, so on. Each of us have decided to be more radical and we are in favor of total endoscopic approach for this is the only truly disruptive approach with reduced trauma, limiting pain, entering post-operative post comfort and quick recovery. The new video equipment with 3D potential produce excellent high definition images with depth perception associated with extraordinary zoom capacities and uh, this produce visualization that is unbeatable. Okay, it requires a real commitment, but one has to say that it is the only way to be able to do a direct surgical act with all its benefits, which can compete with transcatheter approach. We want to cover the whole spectrum of endoscopic cardiac surgery mitral valve, tricuspid valve, aortic valve, atrial symptom defect, 
atrial fibrillation, ablation, and so on. And this is the core of what we want to share with you. And this is the way that we want you to be involved for the benefits of our patients. Thank you very much for your attention.